What's up guys, it's Brandon from Flesh and Blood Brothers. ProQuest season is upon us, and I have my uh, Kano deck here. Uh, and I just wanted to show you guys how I would play in an actual game situation. Um, so as Kano, 30 health, pretty brutal. Game is gonna be short. I'm always choosing to pretty much go first because I'm gonna get a tuna counter on. Um, I'm gonna get my tuna counter to three as fast as possible. So I'll go first. Put my tuning counter on, and and very very luckily I drew an energy potion in my first hand. Um, so I can definitely lay this down for my action point, and then it, um, at this point, depending on how much AB they have, I could like yellow a candle activation and cast something. Um, so let's let's say they have like I don't know AB two. Um, what I could do is activate Kano. And this is the top card of my deck. It's a tome. So uh, might as well, just for demonstration purposes, just YOLO. So I banish the tome. I'll play it in instant speed for free. And I'll choose two. I'll draw two cards. Boom, boom. All right, I drew two blue and a red. Uh, so now I can activate Kano again with this blue. And here's the top card of my deck. All right, so it's a sap for one. So what I can do now is I'll just pitch to Crucible and buff this sap by one. And I can cast this sap for uh, two damage. So, you know, they might pitch a card, but yeah, I just didn't get a good banish there. I wanted to filter my hand. So I'll go to the end of my turn. Um, so I'm going to put the Centering Foresight in my arsenal, because this is going to let me do some cool things on their turn. And I have Silent Gloom in my hand, and I will put these cards on the bottom of the deck. And I'll draw three. So, after my first turn, I threw down that potion, and now it's my opponent's turn. They have a four-card hand, um, so they'll probably come at me doing some stuff. Um, so all I want to do is lay out this potion on my turn. Um, so let's say they attack, um, you know, I can block, I can block for up to nine. I do have the center and force on my arsenal. Um, but yeah, I'll just pretty much block nine with this hand. And then on my turn, I'm going to put this out. Two goes to two and I'll pass back up to my opponent. Uh, now here, um, these two cards are very good. Um, again, I don't have Wildfire in Arsenal yet. Um, haven't really threatened much damage. So on my opponent's turn, uh, I, I probably want to do this. I, I probably want to do this Aether Spindle, but unfortunately, um, I don't have a blue. So I'm willing to block five here. Um, and that's probably what I'll do. I'll block five, take whatever damage I need to take. And now I have my two encounter at three. I got a centering foresight here in my arsenal. Um, so on my turn, I'm gonna cast this Aether Spindle. So it's gonna do four arcane. And then uh, however much damage it deals, I'll opt that much. So let's say they uh, they pitch a blue and they AB two and they take two. So I'll opt two cards here. Uh, two Aether Flares. Um, these are good cards, but these are not the combo pieces I need, so I'm going to tuck these down to the bottom. And in my turn, so Chain Lightning goes down, and I'll draw four. So, um, now my Tuna Counters are three. I got a Centering Foresight and Arsenal. I got three blues here, and a Lesson of Lava. So, uh, let's say my opponent attacks me. I'm going to respond by playing this as an instant because it's not my turn. I can play Centering Foresight as an instant. The next uh, card I play with an effect of Zarkane does that much plus one, and I'll opt three. So, bam, instant speed, Centering Foresight. I'm going to opt three off the top of my deck here. So I got three blues up top. So unfortunately, I don't want to cast any of these. Um, so I'm going to tuck all three of these blues down and hope... I got a good card on top, so hope I was hoping that op three would net me, you know, something to flip off the top with Kano. But I tucked three blues, and now I have three blues and a yellow in my hand. They all block three, 
So I'm going to YOLO at least one candle activation here. Look at this. Okay, so I'm going to lay down an energy potion at instant speed, uh, which is quite nice. And um, I know some people play with Lesson and Lava in their arsenal, but I desperately want to um, um, not have that stuck in my arsenal. I want to put uh, the Wildfire in my arsenal. So what I can do here is either YOLO Kano one more time, or I can just kind of block nine. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to YOLO Kano one more time. All right, it's a sap. So I'm going to cast this uh, for two from the Centering Foresight buff for free. And I can threaten to uh, take a tuning counter from them if uh, it does two or more. Um, so let's say they like, use their tuning counter to block one and take one, whatever. So now I'm going to block six for my hands and hopefully not take too much damage. And it'll be the end of my opponent's turn. And so the good news is I have... Two energy potions and a deja vu potion. So I do have combo pieces in play. I have my tuna counter at three. Uh, my turn, I was just going to draw up and pass back to my opponent here. So now I have a tome, a findel. I'm going to want to put this in my arsenal. So I'm going to block for eight on this turn, not with, mess around with any Kano stuff. And now when it's my turn again, I'm going to put this in my arsenal and pass up. So we have Tome of Findel Arsenal. We haven't seen a wildfire yet, but it, um, I have a spindle. So that's going to go in my arsenal next. So let's say my opponent has a mid kind of turn and I just block for six and I keep these two cards. Um, now it's my turn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my tunic counter to make a resource. And I'm going to use that resource to play Tome of Findel from my arsenal. So I'm going to draw two cards. And since I played it from my arsenal, I gain four health because I have four cards in my hand now. So that was my action point. Uh, so now I'm at instant speed and then arsenal. So I can arsenal a foresight or a spindle. Uh, I do have a blue, so I'm going to Kano on my turn. Uh, a blue spindle. That costs two. I banish that. And I'm going to actually just do these two. I'm going to pitch two reds, which is unfortunate. But I'm going to cast Spindle for two. So either they're going to prevent two Arcane or they're just going to take two. Let's just say they take two because they'd rather come at me with a bigger hand. So I'm going to opt two. Okay, we got another Tome of Findel and an Aether Flare. Um, I'll say keep the Tome on top and put the Flare uh, blue on the bottom. And I'll put this center foresight in my arsenal and in my turn. So I'll put these cards on the bottom of my deck. And draw four. Okay, there's our wildfire and wow, two tomes. So this is a, a weird hand. Um, so my opponent's turn, I'm definitely gonna play this and it's speed for my arsenal. Uh, center foresight, I'm gonna opt three more, okay. So these are the cards I've been wanting to see all game, and they're all just kind of clumped here in the middle of my deck. So my hand is not the most resource uh, friendly right now at all. So I'm kind of stuck here in a weird place. Um, what I am going to do though is definitely put this wildfire on top and save these two for later. Um, and what's going to happen is... Um, I'm going to um, yeah see it really stinks that I have really poor resources in my hands uh, but I am going to Kano pitching two yellows so I have one floating uh, which will reveal wildfire off the top of my deck and now it costs two more but I have one floating um, so I'm going to pay and wildfire them um, for five and they don't know that my card in my hand is red so um let's say they pitch a card and they only take three because they have ab2 so now everything does plus three but um yeah i'm kind of stuck right here i'm out of resources so what i'm going to do is hopefully not to take take too much damage and put this wildfire in my arsenal or yeah so 
when it's my turn again, I'm going to put that in my arsenal. And then draw four. Tuna counters at one. Um, but I do have two energy potions out. So this is an all blue hand. So this is this is the moment we're going all in, all right? Um, so let's say they attack me. They have AB2, okay, in response to your attack, um, I will activate um, Storm Striders. So I have to pay one. Uh, so I'll use Energy Potion here. That's two resources, and then one will be for the Storm Striders. Um, I'll use that one floating to activate Crucible giving my next arcane attack plus one. Um, and then I'll pitch a blue. I'm gonna keep that card actually in my hand. I'll pitch a blue zap um, to play Aether Wildfire at instant speed from Arsenal for plus one. That's five arcane. Um, I have one floating, so I'll use Metacarpus nodes to give that plus one. So I'm coming at them with an Aether Wildfire for six. And they have AB2, so let's say they take four. So now everything is at plus four. Um, and now, okay, Storm Shredders are gone. And Carpus Nodes are good to the end of the turn. I still have Ragamuffin's hat. Um, now I'm going to activate Kano with this blue. And I reveal Gauge the Ages, so I'll banish that. And now I can play Gauge the Ages at instant speed at cost zero. So I'm gonna opt two, and I've played another Wizard on attack, Aether Wildfire. So I'm gonna put that in my hand when it resolves. So I'm gonna opt two. Oh, another Wildfire and a Blazing Aether. We're just gonna leave these right here. Um, and we have enough resources to cast them, so we're gonna win this game right now. Let's go. All right, this goes into my hand when it resolves. I'll pitch to Kano, revealing another wildfire. I'll pay two to cast wildfire for four. And I have one floating, so then I'll use that one floating to pump with Metacarpus nodes for five. And it deals plus four from the other wildfire. So I'm coming in for nine. Um, let's say they AB2 again and take seven. So this will do seven. And now I'm going to um, pitch the Kano again. Boom, Blazing Aether. Play it for free. Um, crack Energy Potion, get two resources. And use one to pump with Metacarpus node. So it does uh, one. 8, 12, so it does 12 plus the amount of arcane damage I've dealt this turn, so 4 more, and 7 more, that's 11, so 5, 6, so this is dealing 18 plus 5, 23. So I think we've just killed our opponent. Um, f 23, 34. Yeah, we just did 34 here. And um, hopefully, that, hopefully that killed him. I can't remember how much damage I was doing before this game. But um, yeah, that's pretty much what you want to be doing <laughs> as Kato. Um, I was able to get that double wildfire set up and uh, that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's a lot of counting and a lot of resource management, but when I have wildfire in my arsenal and at least one energy potion and, and a four blue hand, I know that's gonna be a turn where um, things are gonna be really explosive. Um, yeah, I hope you learned something in this video. I just wanted to kind of run through my deck a little bit here and uh, 
show you how a game of Kano is played and my thought process is I draw certain hands. So let me know if this was helpful. This was kind of like an impromptu video format I thought of and I hope it helps. And I will be making a uh, full deck breakdown of my list. Um, so yeah, hope you learned something. Uh, good luck in your pro quest this weekend and I'll see you in the next video.